Yes, come in. Ah, oh, Doc. Oh, I'm afraid the time's come for farewells, Reggie. Yes, I'm afraid it has, Doc. The injury is not cleared up yet. Oh, no. oh not too bad. Oh. What exactly is the problem, then, Doc? Oh, I haven't the faintest idea. All right. Uh, what are you going to do now, then, Doc? Oh, I'm going to become Professor Morrissey for good, Reggie. Oh, that's absolutely my... I'm so pleased to hear that, Doc. I mean, your spell as community psychologist has revealed to you your true worth, yes. Oh, taking up an academic career at your age. What, a, what, what courage. What an inspiration to lesser men. Oh, no, no, I'm only going to call myself Professor Morrissey, Reggie. Oh. I'm going back to teaching English in Subble. I find you can charge more per hour if you've got some sort of title. Aye, that's it, yes. Yes, <laughs> my spell as community psychologist has revealed my true worth, Reggie. I always thought I was a fourth-rate fraud, but I'm not, Reggie. I'm only a third-rate fraud. Oh, no, 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 Doc. No, no, no. That's what Tony would call self-pittiesville, Arizona. Oh. You're a jolly good doctor, Doc. Oh. You weren't a genius, but you were a jolly, uh, jolly, uh, jolly... Anyway, we used to call you, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you were just a little unlucky, that's all, Doc. Just a little unfortunate. Yes, uh, I shall miss you, oh, Reggie. I shall miss you too, Doc. <laughs> yes. Better see a doctor about those injuries, Doc. <laughs> ah, Tony. Goodbye yeah. time, Reggie. Yes, afraid so, Tony. Chow City, Arizona? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad, I'm glad being my culture officer has improved your command of the English language, Tony. <laughs> oh, it has, Reggie, it has. You know what? Because I'm really into Shakespeare. He's the kitty. Real laid-back bard. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, well, look after him, Joan. Oh, I will. No sweat. No need. OK, the community was a shambles, ultimately, but yeah. it's taught me where it's at, Reggie. Yeah. It's at maturity. I'm now into responsibility. Good. No more wild, unrealistic dreams. I'm going to knuckle down on some hard work. Uh, <laughs> Be a millionaire in ten years. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, Joan. Bye. Uh, Tony, oh, dear. Yes. and thank you both very much for everything. Knock out. <laughs> well, this is it, as they say. It certainly is, CJ. You realise we may never see each other again. Yes, I suppose that's always possible, CJ. A sad moment, Reggie. Extremely sad, CJ. Well, this is it, as they say. They certainly do, CJ. Never outstay your doodah. Absolutely, CJ. Neither Mrs. CJ nor I has ever, ever outstayed our doodah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Ah, uh, Jimmy. Well, Reggie, this is it. Yes, Jimmy. <laughs> what on earth is the gun for? Uh, oh, keep it at bedside. Uh. Violent world, collapsing civilization, any swine attacks me, gets it where it hurts. Uh. <laughs> what are you going to do now, Jimmy? Join the Foreign Legion? Hmm? No fear. Foreigners can't fight. No, uh, theory. Good cook, bad soldier. Your average Frenchie, magnificent cock over, come the hostilities, pushes off to Vichy. <laughs> Tanks with four gears, all reverse. Pasta magnifica. <laughs> English, spotted dick and watery greens fight till they drop. <laughs> Reason nothing to live for. <laughs> Talking too much, vain attempt to hide emotion, typically British. No, no, no not at all, Jimmy. Not at all. Well, it's, it's a jolly interesting theory, Jim. Very good. Hmm. Yes, what will you do now then? Well, old pal of mine, Nigel Ginger Carstairs. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy. Uh, Sound no. Cove, top drawer, and owns chairlift. Switzerland wants me to go in with him. Uh, yeah, good prospects. Chairlifts are on the up and up. Uh, well, I wish you the best of luck with that one, Jimmy. Me too, Reggie. Uh, Reggie. Jimmy. Carry on. <laughs> I can't bear any more of these farewells. How long will it be before I see that proud, honest English face again? Ten seconds. <laughs> what? Uh, no, Jimmy, no, Yes? Uh, I, I, I just wondered, um, odd, odd, odd bit of food going bakshi, odd egg. Crust, that sort of caper, iron rations for journey, a bit of a cock up on the catering front. Uh, sorry, Jimmy, no can do. Roger will come in out. Yes. No, I suppose you wouldn't have. Hard times, eh? Yes. Ah, oh, well. Chin chin. Yes. Perrin's A Blueprint for a Better World by Reginald Ireland. The Perry of Robbie. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy, no! For God's sake, what do I do? <laughs> Quiet, Quiet, Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> well, this is, is it. It, it certainly, certainly is. is. <laughs> no, sorry, you called him Reggie now. No, no fear. fear. Now, what, what will you do? You do? There are jobs for us in the old family firm in Haverford West. <laughs> Our wandering days are over. We well, see you wandering, huh? Eh? Oh, yes, we must. Super. <laughs> I shall take up the reins of estate agency once again. But I regret not one moment of the events that have transpired. 
Frankly, I was becoming a bit of a bore. Without you, Reggie, and uh, not forgetting you, mother-in-law, I would have gone on and on, slowly but steadily ossifying. And I would have ended up as pomposity personified. A dream is over, Reggie. But because of that dream, reality can never be quite the same again. I'm glad you haven't ended up as pomposity personified, Tom. We won't hang about. I don't like goodbyes. I'm not a goodbye person. Good. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. I don't see the point in protracted goodbyes. I like to say goodbye and get it over with. It may be a fault, but that's the way I am. Well, goodbye. 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 Well, goodbye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Absolutely splendidly, darling. The world is full of vacancies for people like me. Amazing opening for a washed-up executive. Yes, geriatrics electronics requires unemployed post-menopausal loony. Previous <laughs> sackings and advantage, bonuses for moxioscience. Yes, the successful candidate will have frayed trouser bottoms, anxious eyes, and at least three major career cock-ups. <laughs> now I see the table is laid for another luxurious meal. What masterpiece of international haute cuisine are we having tonight? Black pudding ragu. Oh, black pudding ragu, <laughs> yum, yum. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, dear. Does it sound as bad as that? No, it's not that, darling. It's just that I've brought you such trouble, haven't oh, I? Don't be silly, darling. I regret nothing. Ah, uh, uh, je ne regret rien, the Edith Piaf of Leibniz Drive. Now, something <laughs> may turn up tomorrow. No, darling, nothing will turn up tomorrow. Darling, darling, something has turned up. Listen, listen. From the personnel manager, Amalgamated Aerosols. Dear Mr. Perry, no doubt you have heard of us. As it, No, I haven't. As you are all most certainly aware, we are one of the fastest-growing companies in the highly profitable growth industry of aerosols. We produce both the can and the contents. We are, how exciting. We are known equally for industrial chemicals, insecticides, furniture polishes and hair lacquers, whilst our air fresheners and deodorants are experiencing the sweet smell of success. Oh, dear. As you can see, we are also not without a sense of humour. Well, we'll discuss that one later. We feel that the man who masterminded Grotten Perrins must have ideas to offer the world of aerosols. <laughs> they must be mad. Perhaps you would care to telephone my secretary to fix an appointment. Yours sincerely, James A. Fennell, personnel manager. Ah, <laughs> when they have ahead of me, darling. Well, they did. That's what matters. Yes, mind you, amalgamated aerosols. Sound, confident and decisive, yes. Reggie. Show them who's master. Yes, I will. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fennell, secretary, please. Thank you. Confident, please, I say. Uh, Fennell, secretary. Uh, Reginald Perrin here. I have a letter from Mr. Fennell. Wishes to see me. I'm just thumbing through my diary here. I say I can fit you in either Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. The later in the afternoon, the better, particularly if it's Wednesday. Right. Splendid. Thank you. Bye. Seeing Mr. Fennell Thursday morning, 9.30. <laughs> Bienvenue uh, à Londres. Oh, merci bien. <laughs> um, Assez-vous? Oh, merci, merci, merci mille fois. <laughs> uh, I can play this sort of executive game till the vaches come home. <laughs> Et si qui qui vous um, fumez? Uh, uh, merci, non, oh. uh, je ne fume pas. <laughs> Bon. bon, très bon. Uh, <laughs> maintenant les affaires. Uh, oui, oui. Uh, le, le ton uh, et le courant de la mer oui. uh, tendent peu personne. <laughs> <laughs> uh, je, je ne comprends pas de the last little bit. You've got to finish the last little bit. Time and time. Wait for no man. Wait, You've got man. it, yes. <laughs> got it. You're English. Uh, yes. <laughs> Are you sure? Uh, yes, it's absolutely certain. No doubt about it. Aren't you Monsieur Duvavier? Uh, no, I'm Monsieur Perrin. Uh, Mr. Perrin. Oh, hell. 
I'm sorry. No, well, no, no, it's not your fault. I, I mean, no. you're in the wrong file. Why the hell did you answer me in French? I thought it was some sort of executive game. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to well, see me about? And I thought you wanted to see me. Uh, oh, 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 well, you see, I'm a bit timey without the file. Ah, yes, yes. But what do I want to see about? Uh, well, I presume from your letter you were planning to offer me a job. Oh, uh, you must be the bod that F.J. wants to see. Ah, uh, F.J.? Yes, he's our managing director. Why? Your manager director's called F.J.? Yes, why? <laughs> no, nothing, just, just, nothing. Karen! Come on! Yes, that's right. Yes. Oh, well, you must be the bod F.J. wants to ah, see. Now, why didn't you say so? I didn't know I was the bod F.J. wanted to see. Oh, yes, F.J. seems to think you're just the bod we need. Ah, well, I'd certainly like to work in a high-growth, rapid yield, multifaceted industry like aerosols. Mm. Say that gut for F.J. Oh. Straight through the door. All oh, right, merci bien. I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> through, through here. Yes, right. F.J. <laughs> I believe you know my brother, C. Good heavens! <laughs> you are CJ's brother. Oh, yes. I didn't get Brian today without... Oh, my <laughs> God! You say that as well? No, no, that's just my little joke. I'm very different from C. Uh, who's a duck? Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good gimmick, eh? Uh, C copied it. He never really carried it through. My brother's too soft. Soft? All mouth and no trousers. Uh, no. <laughs> you weren't taken in. You weren't frightened by his manner, I hope. Frightened by him? Good Lord, no. Pull the other one. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am hard. I see. Cigar? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lighter! <laughs> Comforted the hopeful employee quakes, eh? Absolutely. <laughs> you fancy working here? I'd certainly like to work in a highly growth, rapid yield, multifaceted industry like Garrett's yeah. <laughs> Save that cup for Fennel. Uh, yes, I've seen Mr. Fennel. Oh, you've seen Fennel, eh? Yes. Mm. Nozzles! I beg your pardon. Nozzles, your views on. Think on your feet. Ah, no. hey, uh, <laughs> I'd rather think sitting down. It's not the same view. Uh, uh, nozzles, nozzles. Yes, there's the thing on the top of air fresheners. Uh, you can never see the arrow properly. You always point at the wrong way, get a knife full of air freshener. <laughs> I like a man who can think on his feet. Ah. You and your good lady must come to Leatherhead someday and have dinner with me and my good lady. Ah, very good of you, FJ. <laughs> Mrs. FJ cooks an amazing lobster thermostat. Oh, really? <laughs> That's that amazing. Yes, you have to be very careful of what temperature you serve it, hence the name. Really? No. Uh, what? There's no such thing as lobster thermostat. It's lobster thermidor. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I know that. Well, why the hell didn't you say so? Oh, I, I, because I, you I, thought I was a pretentious ignorant oaf who'd got it wrong. That's it, exactly. <laughs> you fell headlong into my executive trap. Yes, I certainly did, F.J. I don't like being called a pretentious ignorant oaf. No, and I'm sorry about that, F.J. Uh, F.J., may I ask you a question? Yeah? Uh, did C.J. recommend me, F.J.? Yes. Good God. I mean, uh, G.G. I mean, yes. <laughs> I've got your chap Perrin here, Fennel. Oh, you thought he was my chap, did you? Well, he's your chap, I assure you. What do you think of him? Ah? Huh? Oh. 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 Well, I happen to think he has a flair for unusual invention and is just the man for us. Uh, oh, you agree? Good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's your decision, Fennel. I hope you're right. Goodbye, Fennel. <laughs> you start on Monday fortnight. You'll be working in our air freshener and deodorant division. Goodbye, Fennel. All right. Thank you, darling. Umbrella. Thank you, darling. Have a good day at the office. I won't. Do you, Reginald Lyle Anthony Perry, and take British Rail's southern region for your awful dreaded life? <laughs> or better, for worse, or fuller for dirtier, in lateness and in cancellation till retirement or phase redundancy, do you part? <laughs> I do. I have to. Place this ring of dirt around your neck. It will be there every day. <laughs> oh, God! <sighs> Sorry. Oh, 
morning, Miss. Uh, I don't even know what my job is. Well, only another seven hours, 59 minutes to go. <laughs> Come in. Oh. Oh, thank you. I'm Iris Hoddle. I'm your secretary. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, Mr. Capebread's taken your in and out trays, I'm afraid. Oh. He's been transferred to canisters. He shouldn't have taken them. They're like gold, but that's Mr. Capebread for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've put through an F1765. So, fingers crossed. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, we keep everything crossed. <laughs> uh, nothing. Doesn't matter. No. It's coffee. No, no, it isn't. No. <laughs> I, I don't see anything on the door. My name, or, or I mean Reginald Perrin, or, or, or sales area executive, or deputy. Or, what I mean is, I don't know what my exact title is. <laughs> Quite honestly, Mr. Perrin, they haven't even told me what you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they haven't told you, why should they bother telling me? <laughs> yes, quite understandable. Uh, yes. Incidentally, if it's any interest, my train was 17 minutes late due to passengers boarding and alighting. <laughs> very attractive, but not very bright. Uh, nothing, that's nothing. Um, if you'd like a notice put on your door, I can ask CJ. <laughs> You mean F.J., don't you? No, F.J.'s managing director. C.J. is head of our department. <laughs> you mean C.J.'s my immediate boss? Oh, yes. He's just started here, too. Oh, God. Oh, do you know him? Slightly. <laughs> morning, Reggie. Oh, morning. Oh, morning. Oh, I'm in the next office. We can use the adjoining door. Oh, absolutely splendid, C.J. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, accident? Mm. Uh, coffee. Uh, oh, good, good. Sit down. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I leave all that to air for these childish pranks seem to amuse him. Did he pull his lobster thermos, that stunt? Yes, he did. Pathetic uh, power seems to make some people behave very foolishly. Really. <laughs> it certainly does, CJ. Mm -hmm. Adjoining offices, uh, eh? Yes, splendid, CJ. We can be in and out like lamb's tails. Uh, absolutely marvellous, CJ. <laughs> but not in each other's pockets. Uh, oh, no, it? definitely not in each other's uh, pockets, CJ. Uh, CJ, might I ask you one trifling detail about, about my job? Certainly. Mm. What is it? Oh, didn't they tell you? No. Typical. <laughs> You're my think tank. <laughs> think tank? <laughs> yes. CJ of Red, send in Muscroft and Rosewell. <clears throat> I've stuck my neck out over you, Reggie. Oh. If, I said, you always promised me that if things went wrong, there'd be a niche for me in Aerosol House. I preferred to go my own way, I said, but now I'm prepared to take that niche on one condition. What conditions that, see, he inquired. If, I said, I want Reggie Perrin as my think tank. Oh, oh. that's very kind of you, see. Yeah. I was your boss, then you were my boss, now I'm your boss again, but I haven't got you here in order to gloat. That's not the CJ way. Oh. Reggie, do you remember that exotic ISIS project all that time ago at Sunshine Desert? Oh, good heavens, am I likely to forget it? I like your attitude. <laughs> yes, you want me to do the same with aerosols, don't you? You're the shrewd one, yes. Reggie. The world of aerosols and air fresheners is in the doldrums. Yes, you want new smells, strawberry, raspberry, lychee. I like your thinking. Yes, Come! <laughs> Morning, Mr. Croft. Morning, Roswell. From now on, you'll take your instructions from Mr. Perrin here. Marvelous. Terrific. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all systems go on the exotic air fresheners. The world is our oyster. You can have the spices of the Orient and the wild flowers of the Andes, and between us we shall turn a mundane visit into the washroom, into a sensual wonderland. This is the big one. Marvellous. Terrific. Oh, my God. Every dog has his day. Marvellous. Terrific. Oh, my God. That's all, gentlemen. Stay behind, Reggie. Marvellous. Terrific. Yeah, Dad. <laughs> Reggie. Yes, I don't want any funny business. Funny business, you did. You've been on a switchback of fate. You were discontented. You thought there was a greener hill far away with grass on the other side, and you went in search of it, and you found there isn't a greener hill far away with grass on the other side. Yes, I realise there isn't a greener hill far away on the other side. Because You've returned a wiser and better man, and that's an order. Very well, CJ. Oh. I want you to familiarise yourself with the state of play, odour-wise. Yes. There's a smelling in Boreham Wood tomorrow. A smelling in Boreham Wood tomorrow. I like your attitude. Thank you, CJ. Edrich from Nozzles can take you in his car. Edrich! Amidst all the twists and turns of our entangled face, Reggie, I hope that we've learned to live and work together and how to employ patience and understanding and tolerance and kindness. I certainly hope so, CJ! Uh, Reggie! CJ! We aren't one of those dreadful firms that thinks a man on the downward slope when he starts spilling coffee down his crutch. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Reggie! <laughs> Briefcase? Thank you, darling. Umbrella? Thank you, darling. Have a good day at the smelling. I won't. I certainly won't. <laughs> That's 
can arrive at the smelling smelling. <laughs> roll on deodorants. <laughs> I say, roll on, uh, that's what they must have said in the bad old pre-aerosol days. Roll on deodorants. <laughs> you know, like they used to say in the army, roll on demob. Only now there is a product actually called a roll on deodorant, you see. It's a sort of play on words. You know, roll on, uh, but it, 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 it doesn't really matter. I just thought I'm... Uh... <laughs> oh, God. And now, now, ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the procedure is very simple. Marvellous. Terrific. <laughs> All you do is you, 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 you enter the smell-proof booth. Marvellous. Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> and then you mark each smell out of ten, all right, for strength, pleasantness, originality, durability, penetration, and consumer appeal. All right, but but above all, you must say what each smell reminds you of. Marvelous, Marvelous terrific. terrific. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, right, I'll set the ball smelling. Yeah, I'll set the ball smelling. extraordinary seems to have happened at the smelling. How extraordinary, CJ? Normally, nothing extraordinary happens at a smelling, but yesterday it did. Cigar. Ah, thank you, CJ. Thank you, CJ. The computer has processed the results of the smelling. Ah. Exactly. As you so rightly say, ah. <clears throat> now, this is what smell number one reminded its smellers of. <clears throat> Five people, mountains, four people, snow, three people, fresh water, two people, large forest. One person, Bolivian unicyclist jockstrap. <laughs> this is extraordinary, TJ. <laughs> Smell number two. Nine people, herbs. One each for lavender, thyme, marjoram, spice factory, heather, and Bolivian unicyclist jockstrap. <laughs> this is astonishing, TJ. Smell number three, a greater degree of unanimity. Ah, good. Fourteen people roses. Send it. But, but one person Bolivian unicyclist <laughs> doctor. I can hardly credit this, Adrian. Same sorry story for all ten smells. Oh, dear, oh, dear. 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 I didn't get where I am today by everything smelling of Bolivian unicyclist doctors. <laughs> Finish the thought, CJ. There will be an investigation. Yes, CJ. Who will lead that investigation? I've no idea, CJ. You, Reggie. Me. You, this is the big one. Come on, Reggie. Come on, Reggie. DJ, be thorough. Leave no worm unturned. DJ, I'll find out who did this if it's the last thing I do. I like your attitude. Thank you, CJ. <clears throat> Go back. <laughs> he knows, and he knows that I know he knows. I might as well be hung for a sheep as a baking tin. <laughs> a baking tin, a lamb. A lamb might as well have a sheep as a lamb. <clears throat> come in, would you please, Miss... Um, uh, come in, would you please? <clears throat> Uh, sit down, Miss Kettle. Hoddle. I, I'm sorry, uh, Hoddle, yes, yes. Take a saucepan, Miss Hoddle. Saucepan, Mr. Perry. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Take a letter, Miss Kettle. Hoddle. The, Hoddle. <laughs> I'm sorry, I seem to be calling everything by the name of kitchen utensils. I'll try and stop it. Uh, take this letter to all present yesterday at the colander. Colander? With, not the colander, no, no, no. To all present at the smelling yesterday. <laughs> all present at the smelling. Somebody at the smelling wrote down that every air freshener smelt of a Bolivian unicyclist jockstrap. <laughs> After considerable research, I have discovered who uh, this idiot was. It was me. I did it. <laughs> and not only did I do it, I'm glad I did it. <laughs> and I will now tell you why I did it, and I choose my words very carefully. I did it because I find the whole thing absolutely fish slice. I will go further than that. I find it utterly and totally egg whisk. <laughs> right, get that radio off, will you please, Miss um, Hoddle, and distribute it to all departments of the kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Hoddle, 
Would Mrs. Reginald Perry? <laughs> would you on the phone? <laughs> would you please look at the times of trains to the Dorset coast? Okay. 